At 36, I have what most people would consider a successful career. Alex Antolino. Alex Antolino. My friend Alex Antolino, who's my guest today. Edit the videos. By 23, I founded my first advertisement studio. I paid off my entire student debt in three years and joined a booming tech company in Barcelona as a creative director. I scaled their creative team from one to 15 employees, collaborated with top creatives in the world, relocated to the US, and made over $150,000 per year. I mean, that's insane. And I was even offered almost double that salary after that. Life was really good. But then I decided to leave everything behind and start a new YouTube channel. Why did I do that? Why didn't I just follow the clear and simple path that was in front of me? What do I want from this? And even more important, was it worth it? In 2020, I decided to leave Barcelona. The city had started to feel too small for me. Every week was the same. Same people, same places. It felt like there was a ceiling and I had just hit it. I was craving for more, but I didn't know what it was. I wanted to dive into new experiences, live in different cities, and meet people that I would never have the chance to from here. Living the good old Barcelona was my ticket to all that. It was a leap into the unknown, all fueled by this burning desire to grow and explore. The month that follow, I will never forget. We've lived all over the world, from traveling all over Europe in a van for 10 months, to moving to Los Angeles, which was my all-time life goal, and spending a whole year living in the most remote beach town in Australia. I'm extremely grateful and proud for the life that I've been able to create for myself and my partner. But in the midst of all these extraordinary experiences, a new idea started to grow on me. I'll tell you what it's all about later in this video. But this new project, for exciting as it sounded, was about to flip on its head this insane lifestyle that I worked so many years to create. There are two things I always knew that I would have to deal with if I ever wanted to make this idea a reality. First, it's not cheap. I need at least five cameras, a studio, camera equipment, and a long etc. And second, and most emotionally challenging, I have to produce this in Barcelona, where my network and access to resources is stronger. Here's the thing, it's not easy to move back to your hometown when you once consider yourself too big for it. It's a hit to your ego and it puts a question mark to your personal and professional growth. However, the drive I feel to make this idea a reality overweights all of that. I left this city because I didn't want to keep repeating the same patterns again and again. And that hasn't changed. So coming back, I promised myself that I would have a new experience in this city. My friend Dot, who I've interviewed in this channel before, link right here, knew that I was moving back and offered me the best possible comeback ever. As I was looking for an apartment to stay for the first three months, she opened the doors of Casa Dragon for me. Casa Dragon is a hub for creators and creatives like us at the center of Barceloneta. The vibe in this newfound neighborhood is so chill, it's super familiar, and it's almost like a mini Santa Monica with the beach a couple of streets away from here. To be honest, I had only spent a couple of days here in my life before moving here, and it's exactly what I needed. It allowed me to experience the city from a new perspective, and I have everything I need to create content and work in a healthy and beautiful environment. Also, as soon as we landed, Dot introduced me to her network and I met a lot of international creators and entrepreneurs, which is super inspiring to me. Since the first couple of weeks of moving here, I've been mixing up my routines a bit, which has helped a lot. I've been getting into calisthenics in the new studio and I've been using a Nutri Bullet I found at Casa Dragon that makes the best smoothies. Nutri Bullet, if you want to sponsor a small creator, 
hit me up, I'm available. <laughs> Anyways, I'm really digging my new life and all the changes that come with it. But what is this whole new thing that I'm building? This technology is developing so fast in so many directions within our lives, it really does deserve its own place. So you see, we live in crazy times right now. AI is evolving at the speed of light. There's war starting left and right. And broccoli costs now, what, like $4? <laughs> I've recently realized that our biggest wins as humanity, like medical advances, landing on the moon, all of these things are due to the development of our intelligence, IQ. But I think it's also true that our biggest failures as humans, things like the Holocaust, wars, and stuff like that, they're all due to our lack of emotional intelligence. I believe more things would go right if we focused on learning how to manage emotions and collaborate with others as much as we focus on getting smarter. So I wanna address that. I'm starting a new YouTube channel where we're gonna feature original social game shows where emotional intelligence and social skills are gonna be the key to winning. It's like sports, but for the mind. So we got a studio, we got cameras, we got lighting equipment, and we're ideating against the clock to put out videos every week and a new show every month. So we're getting ready to launch. And to be honest, to be here, it hasn't been easy. We had to break our bank accounts. We had to sacrifice a bunch of things that we've been enjoying for the last three years. But you know what? At least we're giving it a go. I'm happy that I'm daring to do this. And although this is the most daunting thing I've ever attempted in my entire life, it's also probably the most exciting too. So yeah, I'm back in Barcelona and as depressing as it sounded when I first considered it, I'm actually loving it. I'm looking at it with fresh eyes and a new project I'm really excited about. I guess at the end of the day, what really matters is that you feel good about yourself and the decisions you make along the way. The place you're living and the people around you will only echo that feeling. 